All right, everybody. Hello and good morning. It is December 1st, 2023, and I'm going to be looking at Kula Maggie style setup candidates for the month of December 2023. Last month, I obviously did that for November. Um, we got very, very few of those candidates. And they were actually no good. You can see here, I have a list in TradingView called leaders of the previous month that are up at least 25%. And there were only three stocks in there. Their own, they all had their own story, their own agenda going on. They didn't tell us anything about the broader market. But I think today this might actually change, which is kind of the good news. So I'm going to clear this list because we don't need these names anymore. And then I also want to show you for the best performing stocks over the last three months that are up at least 50%. It should actually be even more, but let's just work with 50% for now. Um, in November, we also only had like five of them. And some of them were actually also from the other list. Okay, so there was there was zero breath in the market and things didn't really look that good. So let's clear that list as well. And just, you know, remember that we only had very, very few candidates for both lists. So now when I go to the stock screener function here in TradingView and I run a scan, which looks like this, you can take a screenshot of that and then you know, create the scan yourself. Um, we'll see in a second what kind of results I get. So I'm looking for common stocks and depository receipts. The average volume, I've selected them for all kinds of periods here, should be at least half a million shares traded a day on average. Okay, so we don't end up with illiquid stuff that nobody's interested in. Also, we want to see that the price is more than $10. That's typically a price level, maybe even a little bit higher, where institutions would become more interested in stocks. They are not going to trade your $2 stock or anything like that, right? And probably also not your $5 stock. And then the other thing here is I want to see a market cap of at least $2 billion. $2 billion nowadays is basically nothing. That's like an entry-level market cap. Obviously, that used to be very different 20 years ago, but, you know, everything is easily one or two billion these days. So that's really like the minimum for market cap. And then finally, we want to see stocks that move. That is the concept that Kula Maggi teaches about um, the ADR or the ATR or whatever you want to use. Average daily range, average true range. So what is the percentage per day on average? that we can expect the, the stock to move. Here in TradingView, you cannot really use um, the ADR that they give you because that's just in dollar terms, that's not in percentage. But this here is a proxy for it. So the volatility on, of the month should be above 4%, right? So when you use this filter here, and then you sort them by one month change, which we can do today because it's the first of of December, the market has not been open in December yet. So it shows you truly um, all the stocks that were up more than you know a certain number, of, a certain percentage over the last month. If you're already into um, December or into the current month, you have to use um, you know like another column here. Let me just see if I can if I can show you that. So I think we have to type in. Wait a second, no, that's wrong. I didn't want to pick volatility. Column setup, it's just hidden there in the corner. So if you get performance here, you would then switch to um, a monthly performance down here. You would have to select this one. And then further up here, it's already pre-selected. Um, there would be a three month performance, right? So that's basically what, what the story is. So you have to um, make sure that you are first day of the month where the market has not traded yet. That's, that's the whole story here. All right. But for now, we can obviously use it. So what we can do is 
I can now sort them by the monthly performance. Just going to highlight them. And I pick everything that's up at least 25%. You can see the number has gone up significantly since November. So let's take all of these, right click, add to the selected watch list, and there they are. So now, lead us one month, we have 44 stocks. We don't have only three stocks anymore. We have 44. And we can do the same thing by sorting for the three month performance. We just do that in the right order. And now we have to make up our mind a little bit in terms of, you know, how much should they have gone up? Um, I would say we should stick to at least 50%. It would be nicer to have a higher number, but we have to realize that we are coming from several months where we didn't have any performers at all. So, you know, getting something that was great over three months is going to be kind of lagging compared to the high number of stocks you get for one month, right? Because, you know, we have probably, you know, a good performance now for, or had, it, had a good performance for November, we might have a good one for December. And then when we do the same exercise here in January, or early February, we should then get um, quite a high number of three month performers. But for now, the number is naturally going to be small. So let's add them to the watch list. And you can see here, we end up with like seven stocks, but that's that's fine, right? So basically the starting point is really here that now in November, we had good performers, quite a number of them. And here they are still listed in terms of their performance, right? So let's minimize the stock screener. And let's just take a look here at a few of, of these stocks and, and where they stand and, you know, what, what's been going on. So we want to find a way to, you know, evaluate them a little bit better um, in terms of Kula Maggi setup, which is basically saying, okay, I have a stock that has run up quite significantly, and now I'm waiting for an opportunity to see a pullback or basically a range, and then there is a breakout of that range and the whole thing goes higher for what is called the second leg up, right? That's that's the whole story of how Kulamegi trades that. And then you can obviously use a moving average. He likes his moving averages, obviously. I'm just going to pick, like, let's say a 20 simple moving average here. Don't make too much of a science out of which average to pick. It should fit, you know, the chart somehow, the, the past stock movements, which obviously it doesn't really do that well. So you might have to work with something else in this particular case. But um, just as, as a guidance, right? Here, since it has gone up so much, you might even end up with a much tighter moving average, let's say like a 10 moving average. It looks like this, right? So you can get into what Kulamegi calls surfing the moving averages, respecting the moving averages, which is what um, this thing here has, has obviously done, right? Now, one caveat, I guess, is this is called Transmedics Group. I don't know the background about this move. Um, this can be a pharmaceutical company, you know, this can be an acquisition target or whatever. You have to do your own research on all these names. You have to figure out, okay, why are they actually going up? What's the reason behind it? Okay. So let's just flip through them a little bit and see, you know, what is what is going on here. Obviously, you know, you get this big push up and it came out of the earnings here for whatever reason. Um, but you can see this is a company that reports tiny, a tiny revenue, right? So this lets me to believe that this here is a pharma or biotech stock, right? So probably not the best thing to deal with. Let's move on. This is most likely also a biotech stock, so price is now up here. But this is only as of as of Wednesday, right? So this didn't really perform, you know, like gradually over a month. There's there's a story here, probably also discovered something in clinical testing that is good, good results from it or whatever, right? So these are mostly farm and biotech stocks, so that wouldn't really, you know, give us too much confidence about the market, but there's obviously more. So here we have a firm. A firm had this breakout attempt that initially failed. 
then they came back and then they started rallying obviously might have had pretty good earnings as you can see here they're still not making money but you know <laughs> that's what it is i guess um same old story do you have to make money these days for stocks to go up right so very um very strong move here i i don't really see much of consolidation yet right Maybe there was kind of the case here, but for now, Kulamegi wouldn't touch this thing. He wouldn't just buy it up there. He would wait for consolidation, right? Roku, similar thing. You can see here, I have had some arrows drawn here because Roku got so heavily promoted um, by some media outlets and they were just sucking the retail traders in to keep buying this thing. And they pushed it down to what is that, 55? And then with earnings, it finally actually shot up right so i can remove my my arrows here which i think were quite accurate i'm just easy i'm actually surprised it didn't even go lower right did they make money nope roko never makes money it seems right so how long can this last we don't know but it's trying to break out now obviously just like a firm these are stocks that had their heyday and they build a base they're breaking out of the base. I have no idea if they're going to go all the way back up. It seems to be very unlikely. That's maybe something they could do over years, if at all. Um, last time I said, you know, most of these stocks that are just bouncing, there might just be dead cat bounces. And I don't want to rule that out here. The thing is, I mentioned that over the last videos, whenever I did the test for the monthly performance and three month performance, if we know all these names already, and there's no new generation of stock and you have to rule out these pharma and biotech stocks anyways um, then where's the new generation of stocks that can really move the market up oh man i have to clean that up see here that's another therapeutics company right so also something they discovered or, or whatever let's take a look at their earnings see they don't have they don't even have revenue they're just doing clinical research i would assume Udemy, I don't even know really what that is. Um, it sounds familiar with like online learning or something, but I might be totally wrong. Um, this is another one of those, right? Had the heyday, con long consolidation over two years, and now it's trying to break out, right? And you can see it's cleanly serving the moving average. The problem is it doesn't really have, um, it doesn't have a pullback, right? It's just it's just non-stop up, right? So where where do you find an entry here? This is very difficult. Coinbase, similar things, just straight up after their earnings, I guess. Do they make money? Ever so hardly, it seems. Um, you know, same thing, right? Former high flyer. Difficult to find entries here. ST and E, it's the same thing. Very difficult to find an entry. Symbotic, I think this was, was this one of the newer ones, I believe, right? Yeah. So they came back a little bit, consolidated and went up. I don't know about this one, but it could be one of those here that is a little bit more interesting. It seems to consolidate here, maybe pull back a little bit more. So this could be more of, you know, an, an interesting stock here. I'm just going to put a little flag here. This one is straight up. Victoria's Secret is still alive, it seems. Also was a really hot stock. Crashed all the way down. Now it's bouncing, but where's your opportunity here to, to get in? I don't know how high up the stock was back there. I think this can be measured, if I'm not mistaken, in percent or something. Let me just try that. There's a percentage from the low, I think. Let me just check. Yeah, so percentage. See here the consolidation zone here. At this point, it was up 50%, right? So if you if you run the scan, not just at the beginning of the month, but maybe throughout the month, and maybe some people run it weekly or whatever, they can, they can see, okay, there is a stock here that is up 50%. It's now consolidating. And this is a typical Kulamegi setup, right? It's consolidating. It's approaching the moving average. And again, we can still change the moving average to another you know, unit. This is for 10 units. We could change it to accommodate this. And then it's just 
surfing the moving average and then it's just breaking out right this is the breakout here the breakout candle and then it goes straight up but then obviously you also have to deal with earnings because this is earnings propelled this move right but for now i guess there's nothing to do aclx i don't know what that is at all i guess we can look that up aclx That's a biotech company, right? So that's that's their own story, what they do. There's a payment company of sorts, and I had something drawn here. Yeah, this is interesting, right? This is a 2618 setup for those of you who are interested. You have a move down, right? You get here to a bounce. The stock goes up. It comes back to a 618 Fibonacci level. You can buy this here and have a stop at the 786 or just below it and if you're lucky the stock will just straight go up right that's the story behind the setup so you got some extra candy here for, from this video if you're still watching it most people watch for 30 seconds and they have to watch a cat video again or mickey mouse or something people cannot stick to watching videos they will never make it in trading okay so this here also earnings propelled, also came back to moving average, started breaking out. That looks interesting too, right? Duolingo, know the name, remember the name, building all-time highs, interesting. Also earnings propelled, right? Coming back down a little bit too much as of yesterday. The rest look actually pretty nice, right? So, you know, question is how to deal with it. I guess Kula Maggie would have been stopped out here. He would have seen this waiting for you know a, a breakout of sorts maybe this one right here would have put a stop down there and then got stopped out because it didn't follow through right it didn't just stay up it came all the way back so you would probably have gotten out of the trade already there and just have it on the watch list or whatever but maybe this is something to still look at flnc that's an energy stock that had earning surprises but the nature of the stock is, I mean, it's now at 25, it's up from 18, that's why you have good performance, but look at it overall, it can go from 25 to 30, maybe it will go higher at some point, but this is a slow moving stock nonetheless, and there's no Kula Maggie setup here, it just gapped up and might start to consolidate, but I think this is too slow of a stock. Digital Ocean is also a bounce story, which doesn't really look that convincing yet um you know it's a very gappy stock here um it's all over the place a little bit but it is respecting the moving average here but finding a really tight consolidation with these candles as they look now is is tricky right so this is this is a bit of a challenge and the thing doesn't really clear much right it's it it, it, it could it could really be a, a dead cat bounce from these lowest levels right these were historic lows so i will be careful of that one for sure some old drawings. I don't know what Schrodinger is, to be honest. No idea. They are also surfing the moving average. SDGR. What do they do? Let's see. Health information services. Okay. Right. So maybe that is something to look at, but it had a big drop, and usually for the most part, you cannot expect the stock to just go straight back up. The drop was there for a reason. Sometimes you might get situations where they go up, but oftentimes when you see drops, right, they might just consolidate for a while. But this one is another example. You have a drop, consolidates fairly quickly, and then it shoots up again, right? So what, what, what can I say? It depends. You can't really tell, right? So maybe that is something to look at. It's respecting the moving average as well, right? I think this is a Chinese company here, one of those education companies in China that. You know, the Chinese government cracked down at some point, and ever since they have just been chopping around, right? So I, I don't see much of a setup here, but you have to do the research to understand what's going on. This is um, a company that deals with diabetes stuff here, I think. They develop these little patches, I think you can put on your arm, or you can monitor your diabetes rate and your sugar levels and stuff. Um, I don't know if that's interesting, right? 
surgery partners is not a medical company right has seen better days i guess but yeah it's going up it's going sideways whatever i want to speed up things a little bit here let's just take a look at some charts this is an energy stock monday is an old you know candidate from the way back when it's also kind of bouncing you know very looks looks nice here right obviously net is an old friend so to say right crash down consolidating trying to get out of the range this year would have been an interesting spot and this is the breakout mara is an old friend right yeah same thing so we are we are getting back into palantir obviously right everybody thought they would be dead at five dollars and then they bounce back to over 20. things happen right but you can see this is more like all over the place here this is very choppy sun run i have no idea what that is that looks pretty dead to me beam i have so many drawings here it's, it's pretty dead too this looks like a typical dead cat bounce or something paramount global is that a media company or something oh see it's pretty dead right is that is that a growth stock no, that is not a growth stock. Oh my God, more drawings. What is that? Five, nine. Isn't that one of those, isn't that like Fiverr or something? Or am I completely wrong here? Software infrastructure. God knows, can be anything. Also had its heyday, right? Sprout Social, yeah, this is also one of those. You 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 notice, right? Wayfair, also one of those. Then Macy's, oh man, department store, right? What are you gonna do with that? New Genomics, that will be a pharma biotech company. This is another pharma company. Riot is blockchain company. You know, I I just need to leave this chart open. You know that they're all old names. Footlocker seems Footlocker. Everybody said it was dead. You know, no more stores selling goods in stores is so 1990s. But yeah, it's probably correct. But for now, they had a bounce. But I wouldn't make too much out of that. Lyft, the 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 Uber competitor looks pretty dead to me. I think that's the Lyft, right? That. And this will also show up as a software company, right? Software application, yeah, but I think that's what they are. They are, they are the Uber competitor that nobody uses or whatever. I never hear about people using them. They look pretty dead to me. ELF Beauty, I have no idea. But this is not one of those stocks that, you know, didn't grow, right? This is, this is really growing. The question is, will this prevail, right? End phase. This whole solar story has died. Nobody cares about it anymore. It's a commodity now. There's no excitement about it. So this is just bouncing from low levels. Isn't this this story stock about quantum con computing here, this thing? Yeah, as always, got to be careful with these stocks and look at the chop here, right? This is nothing that Kula maybe would ever touch. CRDO, this is an old flag that I just cannot remove out of trading view. I don't know why. This is just swinging like crazy, this stock, right? Credo Technology Group. It looks nice, but, you know, I don't know what else it's going to do now. With, you know, maybe some consolidation. I get some Biohaven. It sounds like biotech, doesn't it? Good old Scott's Miracle Grow, right? You can see here that there was a harmonic pattern here and it worked. This went lower and lower. This was such a high flyer, this stock. Look at that. It used to be at $250. Now it's at $50 and it went down to $40. It's really interesting. 
and we almost threw what is six six flags yeah that's the amusement park i don't know if that's a massive growth stock also given inflation and everything right now and people have less money to spend or maybe do not want to spend it and alterix ayx i don't know but this didn't yeah this this just went up 25 percent it looks like a, a bounce too so what can we say now that we have looked at these stocks quickly i'm just going to remove the flex there's no point most of these names we know a lot of these stocks they had their heydays and then they just crashed and now they're just bouncing off of lower levels there's still a fair number of biotech and pharma stocks in here they all have their own story they are not representative of a broader market there will always be biotech and pharma stocks that just jump up so there isn't really too much you can read out of them being part of of a list like this so i can only reiterate what i say every month basically so far if we don't get a new generation of stocks meaning new names we will not get a sustainable bull move in the market and by bull move i mean a real bull market right so we have seen you know stocks indexes go up recently let me just remove the moving average here we have seen this run right and we are now hanging here and i have no idea if we're going to take out the highs or not the question is if you don't trade indexes right what selection of stocks did you have over the last several months where you could get certain gains right where you could get your 25 50 100 percent i don't think there was much at least not according to the criteria we use and you know that that makes sense in terms of liquidity market cap um that they you know move and are dynamic stocks etc right they were just not there right so this whole move that started beginning of the year and it's been a very good year obviously um it's not based on new names new generations of stocks at all right this is just the market moving up and that's it that's the whole story so if you are invested in the queues or spider or whatever if you just trade the index you did pretty well you know it's perfectly fine but if you were looking for individual stock names you had a really hard time finding something really really hard time right so if you look at if you look at tech names google made the move right or you can look at um let's take a look at apple apple held up and made the move right you can look at microsoft made definitely a move right maybe nvidia is a good example super strong move all these big tech names i don't know about amazon to be honest they yeah, also moved up a bit all these <clears throat> big big tech names are basically driving the market right so let's go back to finvis here are the big names microsoft apple nvidia amazon of course i forgot tesla i'm sorry good old tesla right they had a harder time this year to actually go up they were chopping around but you have to imagine they came from a hundred dollars and almost tripled right what other names do we have here there's google meta meta performed the magic trick this year they fell all the way and came all the way back up right all these large cap tech stocks are the reason why the markets are up they are the reason for it and they are the reason for the queues being up they are the reason for spider being up pretty well but if you look at the russell which gives you all the innovative new smaller companies there's nothing going on here this is not going anywhere this has just been going sideways for the longest time and then you have the dow which basically also only went sideways after a little bit of a dip because it's it's a safe haven right you have massive companies in here defensive consumer good companies and you know utilities and and all these big names 
but this is not a this is not something that we can use um, to understand where the next bull market is coming from right this is just um, you know the, the the old big companies the global companies that's all it is so the whole move this year was driven by these names the big market cap tech names that were in the NAS or on the NASDAQ and partly in the S&P, right? So that, you know, just propel the whole market up. But if you look at, at the level of, of this, a Kulamegi level, basically, where you scan for the best performers for months on end, we didn't have them, right? There was nothing. The market was still going up. And now we get a bigger list, but they're all old names. They're old names. There's a firm. There's Roku, right? Coinbase, Stoneco, Duolingo, DigitalOcean, right? SDGR. Sorry, I know I, I, I mix it up with SEDG. Sorry, that's another solar name. Um, but, you know, there's Net, there's Monday, right? There's Mara, Palantir, right? Wayfair, Riot. Yes, lift right. There's end phase right. Solar, and then some old names: Stocks Miracle Growth. Yeah, that's that's a conventional company, right? Six Flags, Foot Locker, Macy's, right. And that's it. So still, even though we have a much higher number of stocks now, this doesn't tell us anything about a longer lasting bull market. If the big tech names stop performing, the market is going nowhere. Let's take a quick look at the leaders over three months and you will see the same names again, right? This is a pharma biotech company that did its own thing. This one too, pharmaceuticals. This one too, biotech. This is this Chinese education group, which is having dead cat bounces. This is another biotech company. This is a firm which we know, right? And this is Coinbase. That's it. That's everything. All right, guys. So I hope you found that somewhat helpful. Um, if you're more interested in, in index trading rather than searching through hundreds of stocks and, you know, getting dizzy, just, you know, analyzing charts and there's no results coming out of it. Um, I... On my channel, I, I look at uh, at equity futures only, basically. So if you're interested in day trading futures, you can you can check that out. There's a trading view. Uh, sorry, not trading view. There's um, um, there's a trading school playlist. And that's how I named it. It gives you a very quick overview of harmonic patterns. They can be very useful, um, and some other stuff. And then, you know, there are so many videos. I try to record one every day about the state of the market, what my expectations are. And then under the community tab, I post um, the setup of the day, mostly in DES futures to S&P futures. And I know that community tabs are often overlooked because people want to watch videos rather than looking at pictures. But I think the gold mine, so to say, of my channel is the postings under the community tab. So if you don't want to watch videos, then don't watch videos. But if you find the time, then you try to educate yourself a little bit about what a good market move or setup looks like by checking out the community tab, right? So that's all it is. I'm not selling anything. I don't want anything. I don't need anything. So you do whatever you want. All right, with that being said, have a great day, week, month, end of the year, Christmas, whatsoever. Um, have a good transition into 2024. Um, keep on fighting. Don't give up. Don't do anything stupid. Be aware that, you know, like real money is something you should only trade with once you know how to trade profitably in a, in a demo account, stuff like that over a longer time. Um, don't do don't throw your money away it's just not the times now to do that um obviously but you all know that so take care have a nice day talk to you soon bye